right, it's time to check in with Heidi and Frank. Now, Heidi, I hear you got a story about a kid spending almost $3,000 on what? I know. Can you imagine head crack? But that is exactly what happened to this mom in New York. She uh, woke up a little cold last week, realizing that her four-year-old son, Noah, ordered $2,600 worth of SpongeBob SquarePants popsicles. So a good Samaritan heard of the story and decided to make a GoFundMe to help the mom, Jennifer, recoup some of the money from these uh, popsicles. Now, this is great. This kid is so cute. Oh, I know. You have 51 cases of SpongeBob popsicles. You go outside, and this is a good lesson in being a little entrepreneur, and he can start selling those. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the GoFundMe page, that's great, and I'll help out the mom. But they could have turned that 2600 bucks and probably 10 grand. The thing about these popsicles, I've got these popsicles before. You have? Yeah, because, you know. You're go, such a stoner. No, not for me, genius. I have children who eat ice cream. And the, the, the ice cream truck will come by, and they'll have those, and they'll be on the outside, and, you know, it's a picture of SpongeBob. Like, I want a SpongeBob. And then when you open it up. Uh, oh, it doesn't. I, I, I don't know if he, how soon he put it in the freezer. So it looks like SpongeBob from Chernobyl. Oh. <laughs> but... But everybody still loves it anyway. So I'm saying, melted, half melted. Oh, I this didn't kid even could think have sold it. They don't even care. <laughs> People just love it. It's like, oh my gosh. It doesn't look like the perfect picture. It's, it's not like, really Aah. the perfect picture. It's like, hmm. <laughs> it looks uh, like SpongeBob dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.